Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Brandon White with Gaming, and today I want to start some speculation about Bethesda's new game, Fallout 76. A lot of people are saying this game's either going to be a Sims type game or an MMO, but like Oxhorn, I think it's going to be a small single player game. I also think that the game will have extensive DLC since the game was released a lot earlier than usual Bethesda titles. For example, they made Fallout 3 in 2008 and Fallout 4 was released in 2016. That's nearly a decade later, so if they released a game next year, then the game might be as big as Fallout 3 or even 4, but it won't have extensive time put into it. Also, Vault 76 is near the DC area as set in a terminal in the Citadel, so that means the game could take place in either Virginia or Maryland, or both like how we have the Pit DLC in Fallout 3, which takes you all the way to Pittsburgh. Now about the speculation of it being a game like The Sims, I don't really see that coming to fruition because they would have to make a brand new engine as said by Al Chess Breach and making an engine could cost a lot of money and that money might not come back if the game doesn't sell well. Sims type games also don't work with the Fallout franchise. Now the speculation of the game being an MMO would also not work because that would either cause them to change the engine or make a brand new one and both those options would take money that they would necessarily not get back because I don't see myself personally playing an MMO even if it is Fallout. I also believe it would take a toll on the Fallout lore because it would be hard to incorporate canon stuff with an MMO since MMOs have so many choices. All we know about Fallout 76 so far is that you're leaving the vault 25 years after the bombs have dropped which is 5 years later than the vault should have opened as stated in the Citadel. We don't even know what factions would be down there, would it be the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave? I believe it would most likely be small factions that would eventually die out in the Fallout universe since we don't hear anything south of DC so my assumption would be that it would be factions such as Raider Towns like Megaton, Tenpenny Tower, and River City as well as Slavers but I can't say for sure since the game is only 25 years after the bombs dropped. But that's it for today guys I hope you liked the video I'll link Oxhorn and Outchess Breach in the description along with ESO since he has a video on this. But I could be completely wrong, we could be getting an MMO or Sims-like game. But that's all for today guys, this has been White Wolf Gaming, and peace out.